I'm hoping that this is going to be a quick short video comparing baffle filters and filterless in a kitchen chimney. I've linked to a few of my recommended kitchen chimneys in the description if you are convinced to purchase after this video. So first let's start with what a kitchen chimney and the filter is used for. In general a kitchen chimney is used to remove odors, smoke, heat as well as grease that is in the air. And the filters in the kitchen chimney are used to remove the oil and grease before it passes through the chimney and affects the motors. So let's understand a little bit how the baffle filters came around. So baffle filters actually are a replacement for the aluminium mesh filters which were previously used and what used to happen is that oil used to get collected in the mesh which blocked the airflow. This meant that the kitchen chimney efficiency went down significantly. This is where a baffle filter came into being. The structure of a baffle filter is such that the air needs to pass through a complex pathway and and the oil and grease gets collected outside rather than going through the kitchen chimney and hence it does not block the pathway of the air that needs to go through the kitchen chimney or it does not harm the motor within the kitchen chimney itself. This oil is actually collected in a container. In some of the older models this container used to be made of plastic. The newer models these days the container is made of stainless steel which is easier to clean as well. In addition the baffle filters itself are much easier to clean compared to the aluminium filters and it can also be washed in a dishwasher if you actually go that route. One of the main reasons to move away from the mesh filters was the risk of fire. If not cleaned properly, the oil collected in the mesh filters could catch fire due to the flames in the kitchen. In commercial kitchens in western countries, there is a rule that they have to use a baffle filter in addition to an aluminium mesh filter. Now, in spite of baffle filters being a lot better than the mesh filters from the past, there was still a lot of maintenance that was required for the baffle filters as well as there was still a risk of catching fire even though the risk was minimized. And that was the main reason to move towards a filterless and auto clean technology. Baffle filters and the mesh filters needed to be cleaned on a regular basis for two reasons. One, so that it does not block the airflow decreasing the efficiency of the filter and secondly to minimize the risk of fire. Now this risk of fire is a little bit exaggerated in my opinion. It is valid in a commercial kitchen but may not so much be valid in a household. So how does a filterless chimney work? In filterless chimneys they have made two major changes. One is that the position of the motor has been shifted so that the airflow cannot get blocked at any point in time and secondly the motor is also sealed unlike the previous generation so that the oil and grease does not harm the motor itself, which was a big risk in the earlier models of kitchen chimneys. The auto clean technology, which could be in both a baffle filter as well as a filterless technology, actually helps in cleaning the grease from inside the kitchen chimney and brings out the oil and grease into the oil collector. It does not clean the oil collector itself. The oil collector you have to clean by yourself. So do we need a kitchen chimney with a baffle filter for home use even when our cooking involves heavy oil usage? In my opinion, for home use, a baffle filter is not required. It may still be required for commercial kitchens because filterless technology has not yet gone to commercial kitchens. You don't want the oil and grease to block the airways and ha hamper the motor and reduce its efficiency so in that case it is required but for home use a filterless technology is more than enough even when you're using more oil in your cooking it does become a lot easier to clean and maintain in the long run hope this was useful i've linked to a few of my recommended kitchen chimneys in the description if you would like to go ahead and purchase thank you for watching and see you in the next video